What's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashton, also known as Sashton. And today I'm going to be talking about the store called Crazy Cas Boys. I've never heard of this store until recently when me and my husband were driving to get food one day. I saw the big sign on this like warehouse building and I was like, what the heck is this? So we pull up and the parking lot is full of cars and there's a line wrapped around the building. So we're like, okay, well obviously we're not going in. So we're like, okay, we're definitely not going in, but let's look it up and see what it's about. So we Google it and it's basically like dirt cheap, but on crack. So <laughs> it's this big warehouse building and they are open Friday through Wednesday. So they're closed on Thursdays. So Friday is their $5 day. So on Thursdays, they recoup from the week before. And on Fridays, it's $5 day. And then um, Saturday is $4 day, Sunday is $3 day, Monday is $2 day, and Wednesday is $1 day, I believe. Thursday they're closed and they get a bunch of new stuff. So the best day to go would be Friday because everything's $5 and they just replenished everything. So there's legit things there. I was wrong. The actual schedule is $7 on Fridays, $5 on Saturdays. $3 on Sundays, $2 on Monday, $1 on Tuesday, and $0.25 cents on Wednesday. So we went today, and today's Sunday, so it was $3 a day. So we spent $22, we got a few items, and I just wanted to share with you what we got and um, talk about it a little bit, because it's crazy. So, there's, so when you walk in, it's just buckets of like random crap and literally I wish I could have got a video of it but they're pretty strict like on their rules like you can't bring a person there you can't bring a book bag you can't bring like anything in there except for your wallet and your wallet has to be smaller than your phone which my wallet is a little bit bigger than my phone they didn't say anything but um literally the workers so I was gonna say I felt weird videoing in there because there was a lot of people in there and workers everywhere and I feel like if they don't want you bringing purses and stuff because they don't want you stealing stuff I feel like they probably wouldn't want me filming in there either because I know like Target and some places are even weird about filming so I had a feeling they would be too so I got a little clip but um sorry <laughs> playing on my dog so the workers were like they had carts of things and they would literally just walk around, throw things in like the buckets. Like nothing had, I think, a particular place. Kind of like Dirt Chief, you know, it's kind of like a bunch of like random crap and you have to like dig. So, um, they did have like some racks of like clothes. <laughs> oh, excuse you, you just burp in my face. Um, so they did have some racks of clothes and that's, I did get something. Yeah, they had the most like, random stuff. And you'll see whenever I show you what I got, how like random everything is. But I think probably on Fridays, when they re put everything out, it's probably more organized, or I assume that it probably is. Maybe it's not, because I've never been besides today. But um, I'm assuming that it's probably more organized. So they'll have like, they have food products, like things that obviously haven't been open. Like there was bags of Skittles, random food and like cup like little debbie like cupcakes or whatever um candy you know but it was all still packaged obviously they wouldn't be selling food that had been opened but um they had clothes accessories baby stuff um really anything like you name it they had it so i'm going to show you what i got the first thing i got was a car mount um or a phone mount for my car i've been wanting one for a long time um, and i already put it in my car so i'll insert that footage here so 
it's really cool and like this little thing you just close like that and there's a button on the back and it expands and there's a bunch of different knobs so you can like adjust it down up here to make it go you know obviously you switch this up this to adjust the arm and then this up here to adjust this as well but i am so happy i found it and it was only three dollars holla um the next thing i found which i was so excited about these um were these pearl hair clips how stinking cute so everything was three dollars and these are super popular so i got i had like 20 bags of these i almost bought all 20 to give out to like my friends and stuff but i bought two one for me probably give this one to my sister because i don't think i don't think my mom would wear these but i'll probably give one pack to my sister but these are like super trendy right now so i got two packs of those i got a screen a glass a belkin glass screen protector um i have one on my phone currently but like it's chipped up and cracked and everything so i got another one three dollars i don't know how much these retail for but it was only three bucks so i figured i may as well get one this is something i'm very excited about so i got this um tie-dye tank top blue and like kind of like a beige universal threads target originally $13 $12.99 I got it for $3 and they had like ton a ton of these so I had to get one of these because you can't pass up a $3 shirt hello and then these um I got this I got this little like mus back massager thing um it's funny that um my husband found this actually um but if you know the beauty guru Leanne says she just talked about one of these that she got from Amazon, I think. Um, and I found one at Crazy Cat's Boys for $3. So I'm excited about this. So the last thing we got, this was my husband picked out, but it's like an ankle brace. Um, he said they have these at Best Buy for like, not Best Buy. What's that? Sporting Goods Store? Academy. They have these at Academy, I think he said for like 40 bucks. And we got one for $3. So my husband's very like athletic. He likes to play basketball and soccer and he likes to surf. So I don't know if he got this for himself or he got this. I don't really know why I got this. I guess he just saw it and it was $3. So he was like, why the heck not? But so that was a very short little haul because there were a lot of people in there and it was a little crazy you know people digging through the bins and just like throwing stuff so it was a little bit crazy in there so we didn't we didn't stay too terribly long my husband was getting a little bit annoyed at the people so this was our first experience with crazy cats boys we will probably make a second venture i want to go on a friday because i don't mind digging and i don't mind people either so I'll probably end up going on a Friday one day and um, see what else I can find. But that's going to wrap up this video. And it's super short and not long at all. But I wanted to share this um, with you because I was so interested and I've never heard of it. And I'm a huge like Dirt Cheap lover and like thrift store lover. But like Dirt Cheap has my heart. And so when I found this place, I love it too. So... Um, let me know in the comments if you've ever been to Crazy Cas Boys, um, or if you'd like to see more Crazy Cas Boys hauls, because I will gladly dig through stuff and show you my goodies. But thanks so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also turn on post notifications so you can be updated every time I post a video. Um, thanks so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Ow. You have to do this right now.